guys, welcome back to Furniture Flipping Teacher. It's Lauren here again. And today I wanted to talk to you guys about staging. I've been getting a few questions about how I stage my furniture and also the wall that I use when I do stage my furniture, the staging wall in my garage. I want to start off by saying that I am no expert at staging. I have a lot to learn, but I wanted to start out by telling you some of the things that I do know. The first topic I want to cover is the why. Why should I stage my furniture? The reason that you stage furniture for selling is simply to allow the buyer to imagine the piece of furniture in their house. If they are seeing a piece of furniture with, with a whole bunch of junk behind it and with nothing on it or at a bad angle, they're not going to be able to imagine it in their own home. So staging brings that to their mind. The second reason is to make the piece look as nice as possible. You want to use the props so that you can accentuate the beauty of the furniture piece and that is easily accomplished by simply putting some things on the piece of furniture that would possibly be long on it. So since the staging is so necessary, let's talk about where we can get the props to stage the furniture when we are ready to sell. Let me tell you, it doesn't have to cost an arm and a leg to buy props for staging. You don't even have to buy the props at first. What I did when I first started out is instead of going to any store and buying a whole bunch of stuff, I simply took a walk around my house a few times and figured out some things that I thought would look nice staged on the piece of furniture that I flipped. I made sure that I matched the styles and since I had just redone this kitchen, it was really easy to kind of get that farmhouse look, which was the more neutral vibe that I was going for in the furniture. I wanted it to match so that it was easy for the customer, the buyer, to be able to imagine it in their home. If they have a farmhouse piece, but I chose a mid-century modern lamp, well, that would be hard for them to imagine. But if I had a farmhouse piece and I got a windmill or I got a sign with, with words on it, which is very popular right now, that is the type of thing that you want to do is match styles of furniture to the props that you use for staging. Now, if you don't have props around your house that you don't think would work for the furniture that you flip, take a trip to the thrift store. You've seen it in my past videos. I love to go thrift shopping. And what better place to get cheap props for different styles of furniture? I've found mid-century modern staging props. I've found farmhouse staging props. And I've also found antiques. The thrift store is the number one place to go right after looking in your house. One major thing to remember is that you don't have to continuously buy props over and over and over for each furniture piece that you flip. Besides the style of furniture, you can use the props over and over and over. If you have a tendency to go toward the more farmhouse look, use the same farmhouse props. If you like to do some mid-century modern also, use the same props each and every piece of furniture that you flip. Now along with the props of the staging process comes the background. As I mentioned before, you don't want to take a picture with a bunch of junk behind your piece of furniture. So that is why you want to move the furniture away from any junk or any weird looking things so that you can make sure that the background is not distracting. When I first started flipping furniture. I would lug the piece of furniture up here into the kitchen on a plank wall and I would stage it nicely. But then it got to be where I was getting heavier and heavier pieces such as dressers or even whole sets of bedroom um, furniture. I wanted to be able to stage and take photos on my own without anybody here to help me. So I had to figure out a solution. My solution was that I was going to use a photo backdrop that Neiman already had on hand since he's a photographer, videographer. So I used that for a while, but to be honest, it wasn't in the best condition. And whenever wind would come by, it would just blow right over. 
It worked for a while, but then I found myself again not being able to do it by myself. I had to have someone hold the sides of it in order for it to stand up straight just for a quick picture. That got annoying really fast, so then I ended up coming up with an idea to have a staging wall. My neighbor and my dad helped me build the wall. We first put two by fours on our wall in order to attach a paneling. The paneling I actually ended up getting from Lowe's. It was just two eight by four um, pieces of paneling that kind of looked like wood. So it was gray and it was gonna be very neutral for all different types of furniture. And I wanted to do this just in case because at the time I was mostly doing white furniture, but then I knew that I might also turn into doing other types of furniture and other colors of furniture, so I wanted it to be very neutral. That's why I chose gray. I rolled out the rug and the rest is history. I've been using that staging wall ever since and it has been super easy for me to just grab the piece of furniture, put it in front of the wall, put my props on there, and then take the photos and post them. The bottom line to staging and finding props and a staging wall is that you don't have to spend a bunch of money. Use the things that you already have in and around your house. Use things from neighbors if you have to. I've done that before as well. Stage it as if you were going to buy the piece. Using things from thrift stores and around your house are some super cheap and easy ways to stage your furniture. Thanks so much for watching today and if you haven't already make sure you get subscribed to my channel so that you can see more content like this and also some flips here coming soon. If you haven't already please be sure to also follow me on Instagram. You can see more behind the scenes there as well as photos that I post. Like this video below and we'll see you on the flip side.